Hello students, welcome to Sarah Sus classes. In this video, I will be solving selective question from ISS statistics papers. And I will start from question number 65 here. Let me read the question out to you first. So, question number 65 says that we have to consider following statements. A computer checks the source code for syntax error and if it is error free, creates an object code. Linking means resolving library references to embed necessary routines. So, which of the uh, statements are correct? So, let's start with the question. So, a computer checks the source code for syntax errors and proceeds with its error force and resolving library uh, references to embed uh, necessary routines is known for linking. So, correct considerations are 1 and 2. So, option C is correct for question number 65 and where 1 and 2 of consideration are correct. Now, we will do question number 66. Let me read the question for you first. So, in question number 66, we are given statements. A signed or unsigned number with a decimal point or exponent or both is called a real or floating point constant, the decimal point in a floating point number is always after a number. The decimal point is permitted in the exponent part. So, which of the following statements is or are correct? We are about to check it. So, let's start. So, a signed or unsigned number with a decimal or exponent, both is real or floating uh, point constant. The decimal point needn't be there in a floating point number. The decimal point is not permitted in the exponent part. So, option C is correct. That is, only consideration 1 is right. So, correct option is C. Now, we will do question number 67. Let me read the question out to you first. Consider the following computer port, modem type, modem speed and modem size. Which of the above factors are important when using a um, modem for data compute communication? Uh, let's do the question then. Modems type and speed are important when using a modem, modem for data communication. So, option B is correct and 2 and 3 consideration are right. Now, we will do question number 68. Uh, let me read the question first. So, question number 68 says the size of memory in any system is decided or calculated by the number of data lines number of address lines, number of bits in a single memory location and number of bits in a single word. So, let's do the answer now. In question number 68, we can say that the size of memory in any system is calculated by the number of address, number of address lines. So, our correct option is option B. Well, thank you for watching the video. Hope this helped you solving your problems in ISS papers. For more videos, we can keep checking our channel and stay tuned. Thank you.